All right, let's talk about preferences. To get to preferences, you'll see up in the control bar, you got a link. Command K is a shortcut to get you to general. Command comma is a shortcut to get you to units. Or you can go up to illustrator, preferences, and select where you want. All right, keyboard increments. Whenever you hit up, down, left, or right on the arrow key, this is how much it'll move by. Constraint angle, whenever you rotate something, if you want it to be constrained to certain rotation angles, you can set that here. Corner radius. Whenever you draw a rounded rectangle using the drag and draw method, it'll have a default corner radius, which you can set right here. If you click the, on the rounded rectangle tool and you just click anywhere on your document, you'll actually have the ability to set this through the dialog box there. All right, now some of these that we want to be aware of. Double click to isolate. If you find isolation mode annoying, then just simply deselect that. It'll save you a lot of headache. Um, show tooltips, self-explanatory. Anti-alias, this is generally best practice for most types of artwork, but if you don't want it to be anti-alias, just, just deselect it. All right, these two right here, you can change later with the this panel over here, the transform panel but it's a good idea to know that you can also do those here now use preview bounds this is something that a lot of people don't know about but it's very useful so let's take a look at what it does over here we'll see I have a 2000 pixel wide just a line and you'll see a 2000 pixel wide square now according to this now why is this wider than this it's because it's going off the this little line right here which is the actual shape instead of the shape plus the stroke so if we go back to preferences and we hit use preview bounds then it says 280 because it's going off the actual width of the object and the stroke so isn't that fun